normal force the normal force is a is the support support force exert upon an object that is in contact with another stable object for example if a book is resting upon the surface then the surface is exerting an upward force upon the book in order to support the weight of the book or of weight of the object on occasions a normal force is exerted horizontally between two objects that are in contact with each other for instance if a person leans uh, against the wall the wall push horizontally to the person so suppose we have a box here with a mass of 50 kilogram and it's uh, resting on a on a surface and the forces that are acting here is a it would be like a weight force of weight force and also the normal force that acting the opposite of the weight force and we also applying a 90 newton force as well so how how we gonna simplify that so so the box is in the rest position so we have to find out the when the box is in the rest position is not accelerating we have a formula like the all the forces summation of all forces has to be equal in the in the y direction is equal to zero so summation of forces in the y direction has to be zero so we have we get the Fn normal force it's positive it's in the upward direction and the weight force is negative and as well the applied force it means the night Newton is also negative so all put all equal to zero so we'll focus on this part so Fn minus weight force minus 90 newtons equal to zero so we will but like something like equal to plus 90 and now uh, we will find out the weight force so Fn weight force is mass times gravity plus 90 so we will uh, do something with our mass is 50 kilograms times 9.8 and that will be plus 90 so finally so fn and 50 times 9.8 is 490 490 and it's plus 90 it's an normal force is equal to 580 newtons so the total amount of the force that is acting on so the the total amount of the force that acting as a normal force is 580 newton force in this object and um, that's it for this example so for example we have a box here that's uh, kind of in a stationary position in the surface and it has a 45 kilogram mass and we have to find out that how much normal force is acting in this object as this object has so so we know that uh, at this moment the weight force is acting on this on this object and uh, we know that no uh, normal force would be acting or in the opposite direction of the weight force and so when this uh, object is in a stationary position we have to know that the summation of all forces in the in the y direction is equal to zero so for that we have a formula summation of uh, uh, force on the y direction has to be equal to zero and we have like is e uh, fy is equal to we have two forces fn so fn a uh, normal force is positive and the weight force is on the downside it means it's a negative force equal to zero so you'll get this part normal force minus weight force equal to zero so we will we'll do something like uh, this and we know that the uh, weight force is mass times g m m times g and mass times gravity is weight force 
so we have the mass and we have the gravity so we will multiply that so normal force is equal to m time g and it's equal to fn equal to our mass is 45 times 45.9.8 and uh, when we multiply these two fn is equal to 441 newtons so the 441 newton force is acting this object has a 441 newton uh, newton normal force so here we have a box with a mass of 60 kilogram 60 kilogram and it's resting on a surface and it has a uh, and we have to find the the normal force normal force to find the normal force the so normal force has a in a, the weight force is acting in the opposite direction of the normal force I mean weight force and to find that it's, it's easy and we have to like a and another force is kind of pushing this box upward kind of something like a tension and that's a 50 newton force and we have to find out that uh, how much how much force is in the in the y direction when the if we find the normal force so the box in the rest position so we have to find, use this formula summation of the force on the y direction has to be zero so summation of the force is equal to so we have the the normal force it's in the positive and the the, the tension is at a 50 it's also in the positive it means it's 50 newtons and we have the weight force weight force in the uh, in the downside and it's in the negative side of y direction so it's a minus weight weight force minus w so we'll just and it have to be equal to zero we will focus on this part so a uh, normal force normal force plus 50 newtons and we n minus weight force equal to zero so now we will uh, get the normal force here and the thing that we uh, we have to find the normal force how much is normal force? so we have to uh, transfer these two to this side of the to other side of the equal so equal so minus h would be something like a weight force minus 50 newtons so if normal force newton uh, weight force is a mg m times g in minus 50 newtons so uh, normal force equal to so our mass times gravity so our mass is 60 kilograms times uh, 9.8 and minus 50 newtons so when we multiply these 60 when we multiply uh, 60 with 9.8 we get uh, fn equals to 588 minus 50 newtons so finally our normal force is equal to when we 50 goes out of 580 we get 533 newtons it means the tension that we have the 50 newton is kind of a pulling or kind of a decreasing the 50 newton from the from the weight force and that's it for this video air resistance force the air resistance is a special type of, fric of frictional force that acts upon objects as they travel through the air. The air, the force of air resistance is often observed to, to oppose the motion of an object. This force will frequently be neglected due to the, its negligible magnitude, magnitude and due to the fact that it is mathematically different to predict its value. It is, it is most uh, noticeable for objects that travel at high speeds like a skydiver or downhill skier or for objects with large surface of area.
and we cover up Air Force in the future upcoming videos.